Hello there all, welcome back to this video. In the previous one, I've shown you how to create the simple test object to check how the track sticks within Maya. So now, in this one, I'm going to show you how to create a simple reference scene, which is going to help you a lot in creating the actual landscape model itself. So, to create this reference scene, the first thing I'll have to do is select the objects which have to go out into a new scene. So the main objects I have here are the cylinder and these markers, placeholders which I've created within Maya. So I've gone ahead and selected these two. I'll go ahead and group them once more into a single one so that it's easier to work with. And let me go ahead and rename this group as OBJG, so it's object group. And all the objects are within this. I want to go ahead and export this object group as a new reference file. So to do this, I can go into file, export, export selection option box. And here within the export selection option box, there are only two options I want to change. First, I want to make sure I'm making use of the Maya ASCII files because it's much easier to work with. Next, I want to only keep the objects I've selected as a reference, meaning I want to export them out and bring them back in as a reference. You, I'll just go through that in a little bit, so if you're confused, you'll understand it in some time. So let's go ahead and export this. In my scenes folder, I'll go ahead and put this under a reference file, and I'll just call it landscape. Okay, I'll save it out. Now, as soon as I've saved it, the first thing you'll observe is that all these files are now referenced and they have that uh, preface added on all of their names. Now, what exactly changed? If I go to my explorer, you can see that the actual file has been exported. And now, under my file reference editor, you can see it's been referenced in. So basically, this objects which you're seeing right now do not reside in this scene, but they are in a separate scene which is, which is being bought in by Maya. Let's see what I mean. Here I'm in a new Maya file. I'll go ahead, open up the reference which I've just created. And as you can see, all the objects I just selected have been exported out to this scene. If I open up my outliner here, you should be able to see all the objects which I had selected there. Now, the reason we have actually created this file is because now all the objects are actually here on the grid and any changes I make it would be much easier because it's much easier to work with world axis rather than some local axis. Now, if I, let's say, wanted to add in a cube in this scene, I can just go ahead, add in a cube, and I'll save the scene, and all I have to do is come back into my main scene, which is the main final scene. I'll go back to my reference editor. I'll select the reference file I want and hit reload. And as soon as I do that, you can see my actual cube has come in. But there are only two issues now. The first is that this cube is not actually attached to the object which we have. The object which we have, the cylinder and these markers. And also the next one is that if I move through, you can see the cube actually does not move. The main reason for this is that the motion of everything in this scene resides in this object motion group. And this object, the cube which we have created, is not within this group at all. I will have to click and drag it into the group which is not the best strategy. So instead, what I can do is put this object, the cube, within the object group which I had previously created for export, the referenced file. So if I come back to my reference file, you can see this is my cube, which is outside the object group. All I have to do is take the cube, put it back into the group, save the file, come back to my final, I can go back to my reference editor, and reload and as you can see immediately the cube starts behaving as you expect it to so it's stuck to the cylinder it moves accordingly so all things considered it's quite easy and it's going to help me a lot while trying to create the landscape itself so now all i have to do is put in whatever object i want into the scene and that object will be immediately transferred with all animation which is necessary into the final scene so this is all the preparation we need to go ahead and start modeling out the landscape itself. So in this video, what we basically did is go ahead, select the actual objects which we have created within Maya. We went ahead, exported them as reference. So using the export only as reference option and that bring, gives us this new file where we can actually go ahead and start modeling. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.